All aboard? Nashville, capital city of the volunteer state of Tennessee, is the starting point for our journey along CSX Transportation's modern, busy main line to Louisville, Kentucky, along which we will see plenty of main line action. This is the original 1850s main line of the legendary Louisville and Nashville Railroad, whose memory still proudly lives on, as we shall see shortly. Radnor Yard is the heart of CSX operations in Nashville. All CSX trains on the line to the north have to cross the formidable drawbridge over the Cumberland River, shown here as a southbound train of covered hopper cars enters the city, behind a pair of GM Electromotive SD40s and a single GE U18B from the old seaboard system. The tracks start to fan out right at the south end of the span. R.J. Corman is big in intermodal freight transport, as attested to by this large distribution center at Rockfield. However, we do not expect we will see the stylized diesel F units that decorate the side of the building operating on the railroad. Corman is a diversified company within limits. Railroad construction is one of its operations. We are at South Union, Kentucky, as the same R.J. Corman train continues its westward trek. An overhead road bridge near Auburn, Kentucky, not far from Bowling Green, provides an excellent vantage point for train watching on the R.J. Corman Railroad. The Corman train comes into Russellville, Kentucky, and its flanges squeal as the train rounds a sharp curve. The Louisville and Nashville Railroad in the Age of Steam still lives on at New Haven, where the Kentucky Railway Museum maintains and runs the last former L&N steam locomotive in operating condition.
Number 152 was built in 1905 for the Louisville and Nashville by the Rogers Locomotive Works. The 462 spent many years hauling local passenger trains similar to the ones being run here at the museum. All the sounds and smells of old time steam railroading are present as the crew goes about preparing the small Pacific for its run from New Haven to Boston. There's always something exciting and dramatic about an operating steam locomotive. Perhaps it is the silver line memories that it was just like this back in Grandpa and Grandma's day. Thank you. 